Namaste, Soul Sibling, Super Happy Morning. This is Vic, and this is Bam Yoga, Breathing, Asana, and Meditation Practice. Today is, you know it very well, Tuesday, the day we celebrate our free will and willpower. We create through thought, word, and action, and we choose consciously what we think about, what we speak about, and what do we do in our day to day? Why engaging with life in automatic mode? I don't know. Just sometimes we become accustomed to doing what we have been doing for a while. And many times those things that we choose to think, say or do, not necessarily support our highest purpose or goals. Nick. <laughs> Blessings, bendiciones de corazón a corazón. <laughs> so, today is Tuesday and we celebrate our ability to choose. That is a great gift and that is a, in, indeed a superpower. We can choose what to think about whatever we are facing and change our reality about it completely. That is freedom. That is joy. That is living heaven on earth as our brother Jesus may have said. So, with that note, we start our first practice, which is called Life Appreciation. This is a breathing practice where we use more of our lung capacity when we inhale and also when we exhale. Even though the lungs go from the base of the ribs up to the collarbones, usually we are engaging only a very small portion of our lungs. <clears throat> this is something that we do automatically. Being Tuesday, we can choose to breathe in a different way. How about using more of the lung capacity for the next six minutes or so? So let's try it out. <clears throat> Begin exhaling. Then take a deep inhale. Breathing celebration to be you. Breathing, breathing celebration to be alive. Breathing celebration for your ability to choose. You know that breathing is essential to life, so when you're choosing to breathe deeply, slowly, you're bringing more life force energy into your system. That makes you feel better, strong, youthful, nimble. Beautiful benefits that are readily available just by taking rich inhales and giving out generous exhales. So let's engage in that mode of breathing. Every few breaths Notice whether you are able or you enable yourself to breathe even more slow. Pace yourself, teach yourself to use more of your lung capacity and choose to breathe richly so to bring abundant life force energy into your system. This also helps you integrate your five bodies, physical, mental, emotional, energetic and spiritual. When we are integrated, we feel whole in face of life. Integration is a way to release stress, overwhelming feelings, or feelings of smallness in face of life. We are gods and goddesses embodied, so we are creators and we are creating every aspect of our lives in only two ways, consciously or unconsciously. Being unconscious that we are creators or the creators that we bring about in our lives doesn't mean that we are not creating, we are just unconscious about it. But because we are unconscious about it, we may think that things or situations come into our lives by the will or wish of, of somebody else. How disempowering that approach to life. Today being Tuesday, if you hold on to that approach, you can choose to change it. 
<laughs> How about that? So, bring a different approach to your life. Choose what to think about what you're living, facing, thinking, speaking, doing, intending. And talking about intention, we remember in this practice of life appreciation, we engage in three levels of appreciation. The life that God created, the life that you create for yourself, and the life that you are. You are life living. You are not lesser than life. You are not smaller than life. Life is not bigger than you. Let's celebrate that fact with a deep, deep, deep inhale. There is another gift that we can also use paired with our ability to choose. The ability to choose is called the free will. The ability to exercise your choice is called willpower. And there is another gift, another superpower that we have that is called discernment. We can discern whether a thought that we are entertaining in our minds, in our heads, supports the way that we want to live, support the creations that we want to bring about. And if these thoughts are not supportive of those, then very easy. You know the answer. Change it. Choose different. Choose a new thought. Choose a new way to express yourself. Choose a new way to do whatever it is that you do in your day to day. Create something new today. I invite you. Create a new approach, whether through thought, word, or deed, or even your own intention, to approach your own situation, things, people, <clears throat> and even your own self. And as you do, and you put it to the test, and you discover this great superpower activated in you, share with me, I'd love to know. Send me a message, <clears throat> write in the comments, we are gathering to share this magnificent experience of, as gods embodied in human form. So we are all growing into it. We are all getting to know more about ourselves. This is the time in the history of this planet where life, spiritual life, is, more, <clears throat> is of more interest for more people. That is a joy, that is a beauty, and we can celebrate that as well. With every, with every deep breath you take, celebrate the whole of life with its darkness and its light. It is in the face of darkness that you can shine your own light. And when you are standing in the light, it is a delight <laughs> to really be basking in luminosity. Let's move on to the second section of the practice. It is called focused breathing. So here we use the full capacity of the lungs. Before we were using more of our lung capacity than we're used to, but for this section, we use the full capacity of our lungs. So when you exhale, make sure, stay present with what you're doing, your breathing. So when you're exhaling, stay with yourself and notice that you are blowing all the air out of your lungs. Don't hold on to all air. Then once the lungs are empty, be attentive, be, pay attention and regulate the speed at which you breathe. Breathe slowly and go until you fill up your lungs to the top. Breathe through your nose. So for that now, we close the eyes, we seal the lips, we open the heart and we begin to exhale. Once the lungs are empty, slowly inhale. We create a subtle sound at the back of the throat. They call this practice Ujjayi breath, which means in Sanskrit, victorious breath. It's the victory of the heart over the mind. 
the spirit over the ego, the God within over the fear within. They also call this breathing ocean breath because the sound of the breath that comes from the back of the throat resembles the sound of the ocean coming out and going and retreating from the shore. <coughs> so create a pace on your breath and a sound that feels soothing to you, that is harmonious, slow, abundant, free, serene. Embrace it, rejoice, celebrate. Use your free will, use your willpower to regulate your breath and make it be what you want it to be. When you begin to engage your free will and your willpower on your breath, you are empowering yourself to bring these magnificent gifts and superpowers, as I call them, into your daily life, to other things, to other aspects of your life, further than breathing, but yet breathing is the essence, is the core of the life you live. As you breathe slowly and richly, scan your body inside and wherever you recognize, distinguish tension, hardness, stress, release it. Use your exhale to blow away those limiting energies. All energies that dim your light down are energies of the darkness. They are not bad. But if they dim your light, they put you in a place of darkness. It is not bad to be there, but it is a choice indeed. So if you enjoy more being or basking in energies of the light, choose them. Choose gratitude, choose happiness, choose serenity, choose inner peace, choose celebration. How about celebration to be you? Many times I have acted in ways that I do not necessarily like. And many times also I have acted in ways that I could say that I hate. Just to make a distinction between situations that may, me make, may be more difficult. When we allow ourselves to automatically engage with life, we are going to be reactive instead of responsive. Reaction is something of the instinct. Response requires our awareness and consciousness presence. So when we are more conscious about what we think, say, do and intend, we can bring more joy into our lives. We can use the breath as a free tool available anytime, anywhere to regulate the energies that we house and express. There's plenty of rush in your day. Use this time to engage with peace, with grace, with an even flow, joyous flow of energy and life, and a beautiful flow of you in life.
Thank you life for the whole of life. I thank myself for my life. And I thank life for the life that I am at the level of every atom, cell, molecule, organ, system. Beautiful. Let's move on to the third section of the practice. Now we continue breathing using the full capacity of the lungs, but we add movement. We are going to do very simple moves in celebration for our mobility, in celebration to be alive, to be and feel youthful, strong and nimble. And we are going to stimulate the body healthily, lovingly, joyously, but prioritizing the flow of the breath. Usually, we are moving very fast in life. And according to the situations that we are facing, many times we choose to hold the breath and create tension, stress inside. That is a contracting way to approach life. We can change that. So let's do it in this practice. Start with the palms together in front of your heart and exhale. Breathe through your nose. As you begin to inhale, bring the arms up. Stretch, reach up high. And as you begin to exhale, open the arms to the side, reaching out, expanding your heart. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Celebrate being alive, celebrate being you. As I was saying a moment ago, many times we choose to engage with life and interact with ourselves and others in ways that not necessarily we feel happy about. So part of loving ourselves and loving our lives has to do with who we choose to be in face of life. Choose to be today somebody that you love to be. Next exhale, lean to the side. So if you are usually responding to life, inhale up, exhale other side, move with your breath. So if you are usually engaging with life with energies of, let's say, fear, self-doubt, impatience, anger, resentment, jealousy, all these energies dim down your light. Choose to replace them unless you love being that person that engages with life and life situations from that point. If you don't like it, if you don't like to be that person, this is today is Tuesday. So choose to bring change about. Choose a different energy to connect with your life. Next exhale, lean forward. Choose to be someone you love to be in face of your life situations. That doesn't only mean what you choose to wear, what car you drive, what cell phone you buy, but your attitude towards life. Choose to bring about attitudes that make you feel awesome. Love who you are in face of life. Next, exhale, bring the arms down, place your hands behind your back, <clears throat> feet in front of you, knees bent, fingers point forward with your inhale, bring your hips up, tilt your head back, stretch, open the heart, strengthen the upper limbs, exhale down, inhale, Soft movements, deep breathing. We breathe and move in joy, in peace, in grace. One more time. Hips up, head back, heart open. Exhale down and turn over to your knees and hands. 
Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart. With the inhale, curve your spine. Look towards your belly button. Exhale, arch your back. Look forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Move slowly, happily. Stimulate your body. Appreciate it. Your deep breathing brings life force energy to your entire system. And these slow movements engage your muscles, joints, and every part of your body with blessings. Shift your spine to neutral and bring your left hand to the center of the mat with the inhale, right arm up. Reach up high, stretch, exhale, hand down. Switch hands, other side. Move with your breath. Breathe to the full capacity of your lungs. Celebrate being you. Inhale up. Other side. Down. Both hands in front of you. Hips back. Forehead down. Child's pose. Inhale, come up. Knees and hands. Exhale, back. Child's pose. One more time. From knees and hands now, shift to downward facing dog. Legs extended, arms extended. With the next inhale, look forward, walk the feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Inhale, come up, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Fantastic. Breathing section of our practice completed. Now we move on to the asana section. <clears throat> Here also prioritize the movement of your body, the prioritize the flow of your breath and let the movement of your body follow. Good? So stand with feet together and arms down in front of your mat. Exhale, let me remove this scarf. Feet together, arms down, exhale. Empty your lungs and with your next inhale, look up, bring the arms up. Reach up high, lengthen your body from your heels to your fingertips. On the exhale, reach down for your toes, keep the legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back, top of the push-up, stay there. <clears throat> Draw your belly button in like half an inch so your belly is not hanging loose. But you're engaging, this is called Uddiyana Bandha, that is an energy lock uh, situated at the center of the body. Next inhale, look forward. And with the exhale, slowly begin to Bend your elbows. If you need to rest your knees down, please go for it. Keep bending the elbows, bringing your heart down towards the mat and keeping the elbows close to your ribs. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths in downward facing dog, unless you like to take a break, in which case you can go to child's pose and remember, your breath does not change whether you are in child's pose or holding downward dog. Bend one knee and the other, twist your hips, relax your neck. Breathe consciously using the full capacity of your lungs. Next inhale, look forward, feet between hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight and go deeper than before. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward, legs straight. Go deeper. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back, bottom of the push up. Chaturanga Dandasana in Sanskrit. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Downward Dog, Ardho Mukha Svanasana. Keep the posture active, that means with every exhale, you go deeper into the pose and for that, press your heels towards the mat, your heart towards your toes. Release tension from your body. You're not forcing yourself in, but instead you're relaxing yourself into the posture. Next inhale, look forward. Feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Go deeper. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. <clears throat> Beautiful. Sun salutation B. Bend the knees. Inhale, bring the arms up. Chair pose. Exhale, reach for your toes, legs straight, go deeper. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back. Bottom of the push up. Cobra with the inhale. Move with your breath, breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Exhale, downward dog. Bend one knee, then the other, twist your hips. With your next inhale, slowly we transition to warrior one. Left foot forward, arms up. With the exhale, hands down, foot back, bottom of the push up, yes. Cobra. Downward dog. Next inhale. Right foot forward. Arms up slowly. <clears throat> Separate your feet wide enough so that you stand firmly in face of life. Exhale. Hands down, foot back. Bottom of the push up. Cobra inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhaling. Five breaths in downward dog. Keep the posture active, stay present, breathe richly. If your heels are touching the mat already, you may choose to lift the toes of the mat. You will feel a different <coughs> level of stretching on your legs. Pressing the heart gently towards the toes releases tension from the upper back and helps you open your heart. Next inhale, look forward, feet between hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Go as deep as your body allows you to. Bend the knees, inhale up, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana. One more time, sun salutation B. Bend the knees. Arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach for toes. Inhale up. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows close to your ribs to keep, to keep your arms healthy. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands in front of you, foot back, downward dog. Go right inhaling. Downward dog, exhaling. 
Next inhale, right foot forward, arms up, warrior one other side. Exhale, warrior two, arms parallel to the ground. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch the side of the body. Exhaling, windmill your arms in front of you. Foot back, bottom of the push-up. Go over, inhaling. Downward dog, exhaling. Bend one knee, then the other. Twist your hips. Five breaths in downward dog, unless you need to take a break. In which case, please go to child's pose. Keep your Udhyana Bandha engaged. That means you're drawing your belly button in about half an inch. Next inhale, look forward, feet between hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Go deep, deep, deep. Bend your knees. Inhale, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, legs straight, arms down. Awesome. <clears throat> now come to seated. And we are going to do some stretches for the lower body. So with the legs extended in front of you, bend one knee and bring the foot to your thigh. Inhale, bring the arms up, look up, and exhaling, lean forward, reaching for your shin, your ankle, your foot, wherever you reach is fine. Instead of curving your back, wanting to reach down to the knee, like that, forcing your body, Choose to relax. Wherever you are is fine. Don't worry how far you're going. You're starting with the practice and it will take some time for your body to fully extend in total flexibility. Every exhale, relax a little bit more and go deeper, softly, lovingly in the pose. Help yourself up. Bring your knee up and then extend the leg. Be conscious about how you're moving your knee. Your knees not decide to move sideways. So when we are like this and we want to do very fast movement, sometimes we can create injury. It's not needed. So move your knees slowly. Let's do the other side now. Foot to the thigh. Inhale, arms up. With your exhale now, lean forward. Reach for your shin, ankle, foot. Inhale, look up. Lengthen the spine, lift the heart slightly, roll the shoulders back. And from that place, exhaling, begin to go deeper into the pose. Inhale, don't come up. And with the next exhale, go slightly deeper. Reach with your heel away from your body. Toes flex towards your body. Inhale, don't come up, stay where you are and with the exhale go slightly deeper. Don't force your body, instead release tension, release fear, let go of contraction. One more time, inhale and with the exhale slowly go deeper than before. Gently release, help your knee up. Extend the legs in front of you, shake. <clears throat> now bring the soles of your feet together and move your groin towards your heels as much as your body allows. Grab the toes with both hands and begin to sway left and right. You can use your elbows now, pressing on your thighs and opening them to the sides. Don't fight yourself if you find the energy of resistance in this area of the body where the legs meet the torso. <clears throat> then, instead of forcing, release the resistance, the fear, the self-doubt. 
Your body is 70% water. You're naturally flexible. So own your flexibility. You don't have to steal it. You don't have to snatch it. It is freely yours. So just claim it by releasing tension, fear. Next inhale, lift the heart. Tilt the head back. Exhaling, lean forward. You will feel a deeper pull on your... What you call this part of the body, I forgot. <laughs> but here where the legs meet with the torso. Release tension, release fear. You are not going to break, just don't force your body, but instead melt into the pose. Softly, honor where you are. You are not where you are not, and you are where you are. Embrace where you are, and take yourself slowly, gently, lovingly to where you want to be. Inhaling, come up. With both hands, help your knees up. Extend the feet forward. Shake. Awesome. Freedom is increased in the body, so that means that freedom is increased also in our lives. Fantastic. This is Tuesday. We remember and we celebrate our ability to make choice generate change next will be shoulder stand so we are going to put the body upside down bringing the heart above the head lay on your back let's do it like this today ladies if you're in your moon cycle please don't do shoulder stand instead go for this one vi parita karani legs up in the air, arms by your sides, palms facing up. You can rest your legs against the wall if you like. Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. About 15 breaths. And for shoulder stand, lay on the back. Bring your feet, hips, torso off the mat. Hands to the lower back, elbows as close together as your body allows. Gaze towards your feet. And please do not turn your head to the sides. Keep your neck healthy. Don't fight yourself. Love yourself. For that, embrace wherever you are today. And if you are keeping a regular practice, embrace the progress. That means you're moving forward, you're evolving, you're coming closer to a goal that you have set for yourself and that is something to celebrate. Next exhale, slowly lower your feet overhead. Extend the arms. If your toes touch the mat, great. If they don't, you can use a chair a block or a book to hold your feet higher embrace where you are and release the energy of resistance fear not enoughness optional you can interlace the fingers behind the back and extend the arms you can reach with your heels away from your head or with your toes away from your head is your choice and each one will give you a different experience on this posture try it out and see what suits you best today whichever your choice your breath does not change you're breathing using the full capacity of your lungs and you're keeping the posture active, going deeper with every exhale. When you are ready, slowly roll out of the posture, one vertebrae at the time on your mat. Next will be fish. 
So extend the legs, feet together, toes point away from the head, elbows down, lift the heart, tilt the head back. <clears throat> Slide the elbows towards your feet and rest the crown of your head on your mat. Option one stays there. The weight bearing is on your elbows. Your head is just giving a point of support. Option two, arms and legs off the ground. Still, the action of lifting the heart removes the weight of the neck. Breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Next exhale, gently release, careful with your neck. Curl the knees into the heart and gently sway left and right. Massage your back gently and lovingly. Roll over the one side of your body and help yourself up to seated before moving on to Shavasana. We give thanks we take a small pause and we give thanks to all the masters sages gurus that came before us and left this beautiful legacy of yoga for us to do today and liberate ourselves connecting to the god or goddess within so if you like please repeat with me parama rishi pyo namaha parama rishi pyo Namaha, Acharya, Devo, Baba, Acharya, Devo, Baba. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next is Shavasana. Lay on your back. Separate the feet, the width of the mat. <clears throat> Arms by your sides, palms face up. Inhale deep through your nose. And as you exhale, stick your tongue out, open the mouth wide, roll the eyeballs in all directions, sigh and melt on your mat. Ah. Inhale. One more time. Come back to your usual breathing pattern. It is likely that the mind will continue bringing thoughts. But as you may notice, when you observe the mind, there are only two kinds of thoughts traveling within. The thoughts that you bring and the thoughts that come by themselves. At this time, choose, to not bring, choose not to bring any thoughts of your own. And if thoughts come by themselves, choose not to add any thoughts to those. If thoughts are coming by themselves, there's nothing you can do except watch them. But about the thoughts that you may bring, you, can, you have all the power over them and you can choose not to bring any more. This is an advanced use of your willpower, of your free will. Usually we use the free will to choose what to eat, where to go, who to be around with. 
But not necessarily have we developed the habit to choose what to think, to toss away thoughts of lower vibrations or thoughts that we don't want to experience. Remember, thinking is creating. And you can choose what to think. Why think about something you don't want to experience? Why say something you don't want to live? Why do something you don't want to? Have in your life. Choose. And at this moment, choose to be the watcher. Choose to be quiet in your mind. Choose to be the watcher of whatever goes on internally. Simply be conscious and aware. By remaining conscious and aware, you remain awake. Usually when we rest the body down and close the eyes and quiet the mind, we fall asleep. But then we enter an unconscious or subconscious state. Be fully aware, be fully awake, even if the body falls asleep. Embrace being. Be peace. Be good health, be joy, be godly. As you feel ready now, begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, your ankles. your wrists, your elbows, your knees. Hug them close to your heart. Sway softly left and right. Roll over the one side. Help yourself back up to seated. And now we move on to the third and last section of our practice, meditation. Hello, thank you so much for joining. So beautiful to share practice with all of you, brothers and sisters everywhere. What a beautiful gift from Instagram to allow us to do these live sessions. And there's a recording that is held for 24 hours, uploaded in my Insta bio, right after class. So, you can sit on your mat. Your chair, your couch. Choose a place where you can feel comfortable. You can do this practice at home, outdoors, at the park, the beach. If you're in a hotel room traveling, maybe you are in your office, perhaps you're in a hospital room. Wherever you are, let's take a moment together to make soul connection, God activation. So coming from Shavasana, where we were just watching the mind, keep doing that. If you like, you can engage your Ujjayi breath one more time, breathing using the full capacity of the lungs, making a subtle sound at the back of the throat as you breathe in and out.
Think of a challenge for a moment that you are facing in your life. Choose one. And now I invite you to ask yourself or your soul, your higher self, this question. Soul of mine, show me higher ways to interact with this situation, person or thing in life. And then stay quiet. Time may pass. We don't know how long. Just continue to be observant. To connect with the soul, we disengage the mind. That means we stop thinking. We are accustomed to ask ourselves what to do and then break our heads thinking whether to do this or do that, to go in this direction or that one. Once we have options, we create confusion. Even chaos may arise. And it is okay to ask the mind what it thinks. But usually the approaches of the mind are limiting and repetitive. We are going to go back in history and see how we tended to a similar situation in the past and just replicate. To do copy-paste is not to live, it's not to create. It's to be robotic. Break the pattern. Break the automatic in your life and engage consciously. You're not a robot, you're a god. You're a goddess. You are creating through thought, word, and action. Therefore, you are creator. If, you, if it is difficult for you to call yourself God or Goddess, that's fine. Maybe you can accept creator, creatress. That you cannot deny. You have created great things in your life. Many in your favor, many against your own well-being. We all do that. And mostly, we have created things, situations in our lives unconsciously. But today, being choose day, we generate change. We use our free will and willpower and bring about healthy change in our lives. We choose to bring about higher thoughts, higher approaches to all situations in our lives. For that, we let go of reasoning and logic, comparison, like and dislike, habit, custom. And we ask the soul, as I was saying a moment ago, soul of mind. Show me a higher way to interact with this situation, person, or thing. And wait for the revelation instead of seeking to arrive to a conclusion. The, sh the soul engages with you in ways of revelation. It shows you. Just remain quiet inside. That means that if a thought arises, a feeling, an emotion, a sensation, choose not to label it. Just watch it. Then your mind becomes clear, quiet, peaceful. A quiet mind is a li like a land strip. where the craft, the aircraft, carrying the revelation of your soul could land. When the mind is busy, when we are entangled in emotions, sensations, feelings, 
then the land strip is crowded and the revelation cannot land. Many people tell me, Vic, I don't know how to differentiate what's coming from my soul and what's coming from my mind and my mind doesn't stop. Well, if you can identify your mind thinking, that's 99% of contacting with the soul. You may not know what your soul's connection is like, but you do know what your mind's activity is like. So just stop that. Work with what you know. You know the mind. Stop it. Let it go. Choose not to bring thoughts about ideas, opinions, labels, judgments. By stopping the activity of the mind for a while, for a moment, the soul becomes evident. The beingness in you the isness within consciousness, awareness, presence when you identify with that aspect of yourself you are invulnerable you are godly you are free In face of your challenge, in face of your life challenges, your soul is not seeking to an appropriate way to interact with it, but to express godliness. It's not so worried about the outcome, but who we are choosing to be and express and experience through the shell of the body, through our thoughts, words, and deeds. Call forth the God within to interact with your life. You don't have to wait for this practice to finish. Call forth the God within right now as you're doing the practice. Maybe the mind is telling you, when is this meditation finishing? I'm bored already, I need to do, I have so much things to do today. We're wasting time. If the mind is thinking about that, don't add any thoughts, just watch. Be the watcher. By being the watcher, you're being your soul. The God in you. And as I say this, I must clarify. You don't have a soul and there is not a God in you. You are God. You are the soul. But for now that may be very challenging to accept, to contemplate. But still, welcome the initiative. Ponder it. Repeat it many times through the day and bring forth a higher and greater, greater aspect of yourself. Anytime, anywhere, make a choice. Today is Tuesday and celebrate your godliness. As you feel ready, open up your eyes and we connect from heart to heart, from soul to soul, from godliness to godliness. Take that approach to the rest of your day and let's celebrate. Thank you so much for joining. This is Vic. Please go to my Insta bio to see the details of this class. See you tomorrow. Namaste, soul siblings. Blessing.